Hey YouTubers, this is Mr. I know Tech here. I'm going to do a new video of the Jailbreak 4.3.3. It has just been released a couple days ago. Um, and what I'm going to be using today is um, Snowbreeze version 2.7.1, which is the latest version. And uh, before you do the Jailbreak, make sure you have iOS 4.3.3 on your iPod. And um, if you want to check that, just connect your computer, go on iTunes, click on your iPod, and it should say which firmware you have, or check um, check for updates, and it'll show you there. So where you're going to want to go to to get Snowbreeze is IHateSnow.com. I'll put the link in the description, and which link you're going to want to click is Snowbreeze 2.7 Download, the blue button right there. And from there, it'll take you to Hotfile, and it'll it will download it. And um, when you're finished, open up Snowbreeze, and you're gonna need an IPSW, which is the firmware for iOS 4.3.3, which this will be um, what will be tweaked sorta of, for the jailbreak. And if you don't have that, click on there. IPSWs can be downloaded by clicking here. It'll open up Internet or whichever Internet Explorer you use, and it will take you to FelixBrunes.de. And what you'll want to do is scroll down to iPhone, iPod Touch, iPad, and Apple TV, and you're going to want to click the arrow and go all the way down. Today I'm going to be using the iPod Touch 4th Gen 4.3.3. You click that. It will show it right there. And you click download. And it will um, download. Make sure you click desktop and save the file to your desktop. That way it's easier to find and to use. So we'll go ahead and go to the desktop. And here you see the file right there. I downloaded it earlier. So we'll go back to this. Click browse. go to right here and it will um, identify it if it's the latest one on your iPod Touch. There you go. It says verified iPod Touch 4. And what you want to do is click this little blue arrow on the bottom right. Um, for those of you who don't know how to do expert mode, which is actually really simple. Um, simple mode just um, adds Cydia and the stuff you'll need. Expert mode, you can put a bunch of um, custom boot logos, unlocks, custom packages. So we'll go to general. Check the stuff on here. You can see enable battery percentage which already has that for the iPod Touch 4th Gen and enable gestures menu which is multitasking you can activate that the iPhone that you have if it's not if there's an option for that but you can't click that you can click enable animated logo capability and install SSH and if you want SSH on there you have to have a um, a login which I don't so we'll go ahead and go here now you click build IPSW and then click the blue arrow and it will be extracting it on the bottom as you can see and as that is downloading make sure your iPod is connected to your computer just to make sure just um, turn it on make sure it's connected and you should see the battery sign and also under iTunes you can check if you see your iPod. There you go. Mine's connected. And we'll go back to Snowbreeze as it is um, decrypting and encrypting the jailbreak. And if you guys ha have um, any questions or just want to leave a comment on my channel, um, j uh, feel free to leave on the video. Um, if you have any questions on anything tech, uh, I can help you out. 
Um, also, if you if you feel I didn't explain um, everything or you need help on this jailbreak, um, just ask me a question and I'll, and I'll walk you through it. Um, and so we'll just wait for this to finish. And right now it's adding Cydia. I like how Snowbreeze it has kind of commentary on the bottom, what it's doing at the moment. And also, if um, your iPod, you see Cydia, but you can't open it, or you see Loader and you can't open it, um, all you have to do is um, download iWeb RC4. Click it, download, do the same thing like you did Snowbreeze 2.7, and um, run it and do what it says. And that should um, connect everything and make it um, so it's jailbroken fully. Um, iOS, well, I, um, the jailbreak 4.3.3, I'm not sure if it's untethered or tethered, but I know Red Snow, theirs is tethered, and they're working on untethered right now, and Snowbreeze, I'm not sure, <laughs> but I prefer Snowbreeze over, um, Red Snow, just because the easiness to do it, but personally, Green Poison is probably the easiest to download and to jailbreak your iPod, but um, Snowbreeze gives you more options on adding packages and stuff, so we'll just wait to finish this. We'll go ahead and click out of the internet, so we won't need that. But what you'll need running is iTunes and Snowbreeze. So we'll go ahead and click out of that. So these are the two only files that you should have running. Snowbreeze and iTunes. Okay. Okay. I'll go ahead and open this up and it's almost done. And when it is done, it will put the custom IPSW, which is the jailbreak conversion, onto your desktop. And what you'll do from there is you'll hold shift on your keyboard and then click um, restore on your iPod, on the computer. So hold shift and click it and it'll open something. It'll open another tab up so you can um, finish the jailbreak restore on your iPod. <laughs> And if the last part takes a little while, like it is currently right now, um, that's fine. That just means that it's it's trying to put it on your desktop so you're able to put it on iTunes and fully jailbreak it. Okay, so it's not done yet, but, um, okay, there we go. I just put on, and Snowbreeze, there you go. Snowbreeze seems to have successfully created your IPSW. This file will be located on your desktop. Please press the OK button below to follow the on-screen instructions to put your device into a restorable state. And when you click this, this is what you'll do, first of all. Turn off your iPod. Okay. Turn it off. Wait for everything to go. <laughs> and when it is done, it will have nothing on the screen. It will just be a black screen. And 
it'll still stay like this, but when you when you want it to go, you'll click start on the bottom. Right there. Okay. And if you have iTunes or your iPod connected to iTunes, you'll see that your iPod isn't there anymore because it's turned off. Okay. So go ahead and go back to Snow Breeze. And we'll go ahead and finish the jailbreak here. What you're going to want to do now is prepare to press home and power at the same time. Now you're holding them. And you'll see this. I'm released, almost release the power button. Release it and continue holding the home button until the countdown stops. Or until it's unfinished. There you go, running iRev. That means it's done, you can let go. And you can put your iPod down. Now once um, iRev is done, you can um, click out of Snow Breeze when it says, when it's fully complete. You'll go to here, back to your desktop. And this, you'll just leave that on your desktop. Let's put that away. And just leave this on your desktop. You'll go to iTunes on your iPod when it's back to connect when it's connected again. And we'll just let um, iRev open up. Right now, if you try and turn on your iPod, it won't do anything. And that just means that your iPod is um, going through what's um, um, to do the full jailbreak. There you go. Your device is now pwned. If you state black screen, you may now launch iTunes and do shift and restore to a custom Snowbreeze IPSW located on your desktop. Okay, so click OK. Now it'll take you back to the original screen. You can just click out of Snowbreeze. And you'll see this on your desktop. And your iPod is turning back on. Now you can do it right now if you want. But make sure that your iPod is connected back on it. So there we go. And this came up. That means it's connected and the iPod is turned on. Okay. So we'll go back on this. We'll click restore, but make sure you're holding shift. Left click it. And you'll go to desktop and find Snow Breeze. It should have a little block with the iPod looking on it. Double click it iTunes will erase and restore your iPod to iOS 4.3.3 and will verify the restore with Apple. So you can go ahead and restore that and when it is done extracting it and putting it on your iPod you will have um, a fully jailbroken iPod touch and after that I will soon do a video of the um, of Cydia um, 2011 tweaks and packages and sources so for those of you who want one of the best tweaks or some of the best tweaks on there I'm going to be making a video soon for that and um, also with Snow Breeze um, what I like about it is Green Poison you have to get loader you have to get loader and then um, oh hold on Yeah, you have to get loader, and um, which is already installed on it after the green poison jailbreak. And um, you get loader, you put on Cydia, and that sometimes will take a long time because I did the jailbreak 4.2.1 with green poison, and it wasn't very well. So for those of you who didn't work for, sorry about that. Um, 
but I did jailbreak it with Snowbreeze and it worked fine. So that's why I'm continuing to do the jailbreaks for Snowbreeze. It's a little harder, but um, it's still it's it's um, quicker. <clears throat> so while the iPod is rebooting, is going to turn on with Cydia and have Cydia on there. And this is the end of the video, guys. See you next time.